Jack Stoddard, otherwise known as Hippie Jack, came to Overton County, Tennessee several years ago along with his wife, Lynn, and found themselves in the perfect location to pursue their passion for photography. But little did they know just how their lives would change and how their own compassion for those less fortunate than themselves would affect so many lives around them. We're here today with Hippie Jack and we're out on the farm in Overton County. Thank you for letting us come out and talk to you today. How are you? We're, we're in our element here on the farm. This is where we belong. So the inspiration behind your photography is not the beauty of the area so much as the beauty of the people that you found here. Right, and the history. And the history. I mean, what is photography really if it isn't to preserve history? I mean, Matthew Brady to me was like the one of the very first that just jumped on it for that reason. Because when you think about it, and particularly with film photography, you really are getting a mirrored image, a very real uh, a slice of that exact moment in time. When did you start seeing the need in the area, the people on the mountain? Um... We started doing the, the show for WCTE, just a little local show for fun, a music show out here. And at that point, I started getting up on the mountain a little bit. And then over the first couple of years of doing that and this festival happening to us, because we did not plan to have 2,500 people out here, we always had an association with some other nonprofit outreach type organization and they're wonderful people I want to preface this with saying that that uh, they feed a lot of people and they do it every week way more than we could ever reach and they're doing the community a fine service but there's a question in in society today as to who deserves what and and they were they were drawing that line a little bit. And I just simply began to distribute it for us. We would, uh, we would rather than, than take it to a middle, middle man, we would just load up the bus and, and go up the mountain. We had no, no rules about our distribution. When we went up the mountain, uh, uh, we told people that they could have whatever they wanted. As if it's on the bus and you feel you need it, you get it. The number one question we get, and I get this from both sides of the philosophical spectrum, they ask me, they say, aren't you afraid they'll take too much? Uh, when we go on the mountain, the biggest problem we have is getting people to take enough. And we find ourselves constantly trying to put more into their boxes or their bags. So if someone out there right. wants to contribute to yeah. your outreach program to help, help the folks up on the mountain, how do they do that? The simplest way is to go to our website. You can go to jammin at hippiejacks.com and there's a donate button there and, and you can uh, earmark those donations as well. Now food donations, clothing donations, toy donations, uh, people come to the farm. It's the craziest thing, Celeste. It has grown and grown and grown. We will get up some mornings if we go out to the bus, we haven't been out there in two days, and there'll be 500 pounds of food out there we never know showed up. And it's remarkable. Uh, people are good. You know? They are good. I mean, some of my bitter disillusionment has been wiped away. Thank you for sitting with us today and chatting. And right. not only do we have Hippie Jack today, but Mrs. Hippie is here. And we're going to talk to her for a few minutes, too. As we said, Miss Hippie has joined us today at Hippie Jack's also. And you are very active with providing and, and distributing food. Tell us, tell us your take on that. Once again, I think the people have um, they've accepted this. or They look forward to us coming now. You know, and um, and they know they can get the things that they want. It's not we don't make up a box and say you have to take you know oatmeal, you know grits, you know these things. Um, I always try and remember what what they like. Different people, or you know, get what you like. Don't you don't have to take what we want to give you. 
and they'll they're really good about that they'll go through and, and pick out things in the bus that they like to eat and they never take too much you know we're always putting more stuff in there you know well thank you for serving the well, people right here in your area you know it's I don't know if it'll make any difference it makes their day a little easier you know it's probably not going to change anything in the long run um, other than that they're a little happy and they know that somebody appreciates what what they have to offer. We want to encourage everyone to come out to the festival and bring food items to donate. Yes, please. Right, right now, um, we're mostly stressing food. Um, Christmas is over, um, so we don't need, we don't, we're not collecting toys. Around Christmas, we do do an outreach of children's toys. Um, and we have a, a bus that's full of, of some clothes now. So really, we're trying to stress food. Well, thank you for joining us oh, you're and letting welcome. us come into your home. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm glad you all made it. <laughs>